What is up everybody in this video? I'm gonna be telling you why I chose these, the Asics Trabuco Max, to run up a perfectly good mounting. everybody and welcome back to the channel now have you seen all the other videos in our snowden mini series we've had what we're wearing up the mountain we've had toby talking about his shoes that he's gonna be running up snowden in so today's video is about why i chose the a6 trabuco max now i'll put it out to you guys in terms of what shoe and all that kind of stuff thank you very much for all your input funny enough one of the shoes that you recommended so he's actually wearing the Speedo Force. But after a little bit of playing around and trying a few, I thought to myself, if it ain't broke, why try and fix it? So now if you've not seen any of my other reviews on the A6 Jeruco Max, I'd really recommend it. Get a couple, funny enough, one of them up here in the trails. Toby and I, I bought him up here for his first trail and I was wearing them. But the thing is about the shoe for me, it's just one of those shoes that that work and let me know in the comments do you have a trail shoe that just works for you I'd be very interested to know what it is so the Chibuco Max is like a mm, max cushion trail shoe I would say it's got a massive slab of flight foam in the midsole we've got Asics grip on the outside I'll show you the tread in just a sec uh, I don't think it's got a plate in it I should have probably checked we come out of this video from memory it's got a five mil drop and it's about 140 quid here in the UK. You've got guide sole technology in it, which is what's borrowed over from the guide ride, which is super awesome because, oh, hang on, we're walking. Oh yeah, I see why, have a look. Um, the guide sole technology which is from the guide ride, which is all about reducing ankle movement, flexion, and saving energy, that kind of stuff. But also trying to keep the, the foot on a straight path. Uh, we've got a sort of lock laces, method in terms of lacing on the shoe which is a little bit different to your normal sort of trail shoe which i think works well and i think that's about it in terms of weight i think it's about 12 11 never 12 ounces something like that but for me weight's not really a, a, a dear, big deal for this sort of trail running that i'm doing because for me trail shoes need to go road to trail take this kind of stuff on and obviously for snowden be able to get me up there a great big mountain now i chose the trabuco max because they're just so comfortable and i've never had a pair of trail shoes i'm talking not pegasus trail proper trail shoes that are this comfortable never and i think that's you know such an important part of where you pick your shoes and why you pick your shoes is what's comfortable for you the shoes just got an amazing amount of grip now we're not doing like mega rock work or anything like that but there is elements of this trail like that does have gravelly rocky bits in it did some back there shoe just cruises over it and because you've got that like thick bit of foam on there it just helps soak some of it up which is massive so to conclude because i don't want to take this video longer than it needs to be i think personally the trabuco max for me is the best trail shoe out there so i tried a few Speed Goat 4 was too narrow, uh, yeah, too narrow, even though it comes in a wide fitting. And there's some other ones out there, but I just kept going back to the Asics. And like, as I said, if you've got a trail shoe that's comfortable and it works for you, that's the shoe for you. 